Dhaka da or Dhaka, Bengali, Dhaka pronounced aka, formerly known as Dhaka, is the capital and largest city of Bangladesh. It is one of the world's largest cities, with a population of 18.89 million people in the greater Dhaka area. It is also one of the most densely populated city in the world. Dhaka is the economic, political and cultural center of Bangladesh. It is one of the major cities of South Asia, the largest city in eastern South Asia and among the Bay of Bengal countries, and one of the largest cities among OIC countries. As part of the Bengal Plain, the city is bounded by the Buraganga River, Tarag River, Daleshwari River and Shitalakshya River. The city is located in an eponymous district and division. The area of Dhaka has been inhabited since the first millennium. The city rose to prominence in the 17th century as a provincial capital and commercial center of the Mughal Empire in South Asia. Dhaka was the capital of Mughal Bengal for 75 years. As the center of the Muslim trade in Bengal, it was one of the most prosperous cities in the Indian subcontinent. The medieval city was named in honor of the Mughal Emperor Jahangir and hosted the seat of the Mughal Subadar governor, Naib Nazims and Diwans prime ministers. Medieval Dhaka's glory peaked in the 17th and 18th centuries, when it was home to merchants from across Eurasia. The Mughals decorated the city with well-laid-out gardens, tombs, mosques, palaces and forts. The city was once called the Venice of the East. Under the British Empire, the city saw the introduction of electricity, railways, cinemas, western-style universities and colleges and a modern water supply. It became an important administrative and educational center in eastern Bengal and Assam after 1905. In 1947, after ending of British rule, it became the administrative capital of the East Pakistan. It was declared as the legislative capital of Pakistan in 1962. In 1971, it became the capital of an independent Bangladesh. Article 5 of the Constitution of Bangladesh declares Dhaka as the capital of the republic. Since its establishment as a modern capital city, the population, area, and social and economic diversity of Dhaka have grown tremendously. Dhaka is now one of the most densely industrialized regions in the country. By the 21st century, it emerged as a megacity, which is now listed as a beta global city by the Globalization and World Cities Research Network GAWC. Dhaka is a major financial center in the region, being home to many local and international companies. Its stock exchange has over 750 listed companies. The city hosts over 50 diplomatic missions and the headquarters of BIMSTEC. The city's culture is known for its cycle rickshaws, cuisine, art festivals and religious diversity. The old city is home to around 2,000 buildings from the Mughal and British periods, including notable structures such as the Bara Katra and Choto Katra caravansaries. The city's modernist National Assembly is one of the largest parliaments in the world. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The origins of the name for Dhaka are uncertain. Once Dhak trees were very common in the area and the name may have originated from it. Alternatively, this name may refer to the hidden goddess Dhakashwari, whose temple is located in the southwestern part of the city. Another popular theory states that Dhaka refers to a membranophone instrument, Dhak which was played by order of Subadar Islam Khan I during the inaugurating of the Bengal capital in 1610. Some references also say it was derived from a Prakrit dialect called Dhaka Basa, or Dhaka, used in the Rajtarangini for a watch station, or it is the same as Devaka, mentioned in the Allahabad pillar inscription of Samudragupta as an eastern frontier kingdom. According to Rajadarangini written by a Kashmiri Brahmin, Kalhana, the region was originally known as Dhaka. The word Dhaka means watchtower. Bikrampur and Sonargan, the earlier strongholds of Bengal rulers were situated nearby. So Dhaka was most likely used as the watchtower for the fortification purpose. History The history of urban settlement in the area of modern-day Dhaka dates to the first millennium. The region was part of the ancient district of Bikrampur, which was ruled by the Sena dynasty. Under Islamic rule, it became part of the historic district of Sonargan, the regional administrative hub of the Delhi and the Bengal Sultanates. The Grand Trunk Road passed through the region, connecting it with North India, Central Asia and the southeastern port city of Chittagong. 
The Mughal Empire governed the region during the early modern period. Under Mughal rule, the old city of Dhaka grew on the banks of the Buraganga River. Dhaka was proclaimed the capital of Mughal Bengal in 1608. Islam Khan Chishti was the first administrator of the city. Khan named it Jahangirabad, city of Jahangir, in honor of the Emperor Jahangir. The name was dropped soon after the English conquered. The main expansion of the city took place under Mughal governor Shasta Khan. The city then measured 19 by 13 kilometers, 11.8 by 8.1 miles, with a population of nearly 1 million. Dhaka was one of the largest and most prosperous cities in South Asia. It grew into a regional economic center during the 17th and 18th centuries, serving as a hub for Eurasian traders, including Bengalis, Marwaris, Kashmiris, Gujaratis, Armenians, Arabs, Persians, Greeks, Dutch, French, English and the Portuguese. The city was a center of the worldwide muslin, cotton and jute industries, with 80,000 skilled weavers. Mughal Bengal generated 50% of the Mughal Empire's GDP, which at the time constituted 29% of world GDP. Dhaka was the commercial capital of the empire. The city had well laid out gardens, monuments, mosques, temples, bazaars, churches and caravansaries. The Bara Katra was the largest caravansary. The riverbanks were dotted with tea houses and numerous stately mansions. Eurasian traders built neighborhoods in Farashganj French Bazaar, Armanatola Armenian Quarter, and Postagola Portuguese Quarter. Bengal was an affluent region with a Bengali Muslim majority and Bengali Hindu minority, and was globally dominant in industries such as textile manufacturing and shipbuilding. It was an exporter of silk and cotton textiles, steel, saltpeter, and agricultural and industrial produce. With the defeat of the Nawab of Bengal at the Battle of Buxar in 1764, the British East India Company gained the right to collect taxes from the Principality of Bengal. The city formally passed to the control of the British East India Company in 1793 and Dhaka got plugged into the imperial mercantile networks of the British Empire. With the dawn of the Industrial Revolution in Great Britain, Dhaka became a leading centre of the jute trade, as Bengal accounted for the largest share of the world's jute production. Dhaka suffered stagnation and decline began during the mid-19th century. Its muslin industry was destroyed by high colonial taxation, restriction of trade and forced imports of British manufactured textiles. The city's weavers starved to death during Bengal famines. The rise of the colonial capital Calcutta caused a sharp decline in the city's population. Dhaka became heavily impoverished. In 1824, an Anglican bishop described Dhaka as a city of magnificent ruins. During the mutiny of 1857, the city witnessed revolts by the Bengal army. The British Indian rule was established following the mutiny. It bestowed privileges on the Dhaka Nawab family, which dominated the city's political and social elite. The Dhaka cantonment was established as a base for the British Indian Army. The British developed the modern city around Ramna, Shabag Garden and Victoria Park. A modern civic water system was introduced in 1874. In 1885, the Dhaka State Railway was opened with a 144 km meter gauge 1, mm rail line connecting Mimesing and the port of Narayanganj through Dhaka. The city later became a hub of the Eastern Bengal State Railway. The first cinema was shown in Dhaka's Riverfront Crown Theatre on 17 April 1898. The film show was organised by the Bedford Bioscope Company. The electricity supply began in 1901. Some of the early educational institutions established during the British period include the Dhaka College, the Dhaka Medical School, the Eden College, St. Gregory's School, the Mosinia Madrasa, Jagannath College and the Asanula School of Engineering. Ideal School and College was founded on 15 March 1965. Following the inauguration, till 1968 it was a junior school. In 1972 the school was converted into a high school. The students from the school participated in Secondary School Certificate SSC examination o level equivalent for the first time in 1973 and earned an extraordinary success for the very first time. Horse racing was a favorite pastime for elite residents in the city's Ramna race course beside the Dhaka Club. The Viceroy of India would often dine and entertain with Bengali aristocrats in the city. Automobiles began appearing after the turn of the century. 
By the early 20th century, Dhaka projected itself as the standard bearer of Muslim minorities in British India, as opposed to the heavily Hindu-dominated city of Calcutta. During the abortive partition of Bengal in 1905, Dhaka became the short-lived capital of Eastern Bengal and Assam. In 1906, the All India Muslim League was formed at the Assam Manzil, during a conference on liberal education hosted by Nawab Sir Kaja Salimullah. Bengal was reunited in 1911. The University of Dhaka was established in 1921 by an act passed in the Imperial Legislative Council. It started with three faculties and twelve departments, covering the subjects of Sanskrit, Bengali, English, education, history, Arabic, Islamic studies, Persian, Urdu, philosophy, economics, politics, physics, chemistry, mathematics, and law. The East Bengal Cinematograph Company produced the first full-length silent movies in Dhaka during the 1920s, including Sukumari and The Last Kiss. Devco, a subsidiary of the Octavian Steel Company, began wide-scale power distribution in 1930. The Tejgan Airport was constructed during World War II as a base for Allied forces. The Dhaka Medical College was established in 1946. With the partition of British India in 1947, Dhaka became the capital of East Bengal 1947 and East Pakistan 1955 it hosted the largest legislature in Pakistan, as East Bengalis compromised the majority of the new state's population. Dhaka's urban population increased dramatically because of Muslim migration from across Bengal and other parts of the subcontinent. Dhaka began to see rapid urban expansion from the 1950s. The East Pakistan Stock Exchange Association was formed on 28 April 1954 and later became the Dhaka Stock Exchange. Orient Airways, founded by the East Pakistani industrialist Mirza Ahmad Ispahani, began the first commercial flight between Dhaka and Karachi on 6 June 1954. The airline later evolved into Pakistan International Airlines. The Dhaka Improvement Trust was established in 1956 to coordinate the city's development. The first master plan for the city was drawn up in 1959. Several countries opened consulates in Dhaka, including the United States, India, the United Kingdom, the Soviet Union and the People's Republic of China. The Southeast Asia Treaty Organization established a research center now called ICDDRB for combating disease in 1960. As early as 1947, there were demands for Dhaka to host the Parliament of the Federation of Pakistan. Shasta Surawardi Ikramullah stated that the country's constituent assembly should meet in East Bengal due to the region's large population. In 1962, President Ayub Khan designated Dhaka as the seat of the proposed National Assembly outlined in the 1962 constitution. The government appointed Louis Khan and Muzarul Islam to design a capital complex in Dhaka. The city was declared as the country's legislative capital. The Intercontinental Hotel of Dhaka, designed by William B. Tabler, opened in 1966 in Ramna. The East Pakistan Helicopter Service connected Dhaka with other regional cities as part of the largest commercial helicopter network in the world. The Awami League was formed at the Rose Garden Palace, in 1949 as the Bengali alternative to the domination of the Muslim League in Pakistan. Growing political, cultural and economic rifts emerged between the two wings of the country. The Bengali language movement reached its peak in 1952. Dhaka remained a center of revolutionary and political activity, as student activism and demands for autonomy increased. The Six Point Movement in 1966 was widely supported by the city's residents. The city had an influential press founded and owned by Yar Muhammad Khan, with prominent newspapers like the Itifaq and the Weekly Holiday. During the political and constitutional crisis in 1971, the military junta led by Yahya Khan refused to transfer power to the newly elected National Assembly, causing mass riots, civil disobedience and a movement for self-determination. On 7 March 1971, Awami League leader Sheikh Mujibur Rahman addressed a massive public gathering at the Ramna race course maiden in Dhaka, in which he warned of an independence struggle. Subsequently, East Pakistan came under a non-cooperation movement against the Pakistani state. 
On Pakistan's Republic Day, the 23rd of March 1971, Bangladeshi flags were hoisted throughout Dhaka in a show of resistance. On the 25th of March 1971, the Pakistan Army launched military operations under Operation Searchlight against the population of East Pakistan. Dhaka bore the brunt of the army's atrocities, witnessing a genocide and a campaign of wide-scale repression, with the arrest, torture and murder of the city's civilians, students, intelligentsia, political activists and religious minorities. The army faced mutinies from the East Pakistan Rifles and the Bengali police. Large parts of the city were burnt and destroyed, including Hindu neighborhoods. Much of the city's population was either displaced or forced to flee to the countryside. In the ensuing Bangladesh War of Independence, the Bangladesh forces launched regular guerrilla attacks and ambush operations against Pakistani forces. Dhaka was struck with numerous air raids by the Indian Air Force in December. Dhaka witnessed the surrender of the West Pakistan forces in front of the Bangladesh India Allied Forces on 16 December 1971 with the surrender of Pakistan. Dhaka was declared the national capital by the Constituent Assembly of Bangladesh in 1972. The post-independence period witnessed rapid growth as Dhaka attracted migrant workers from across rural Bangladesh. 60% of population growth has been due to rural migration. The city endured socialist unrest in the early 1970s, followed by a few years of martial law. The stock exchange and free market were restored in the late 1970s. In the 1980s, Dhaka saw the inauguration of the National Parliament House which won the Aga Khan Award for Architecture, a new international airport and the Bangladesh National Museum. Bangladesh pioneered the formation of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation and hosted its first summit in Dhaka in 1985. A mass uprising in 1990 led to the return of parliamentary democracy. Dhaka has hosted a trilateral summit between India, Pakistan and Bangladesh in 1998, the summit of the D8 Organisation for Economic Cooperation in 1999 and conferences of the Commonwealth, SAARC, the OIC and United Nations agencies during various years. In the 1990s and 2000s, Dhaka experienced improved economic growth and the emergence of affluent business districts and satellite towns. Between 1990 and 2005, the city's population doubled from 6 million to 12 million. There has been increased foreign investment in the city, particularly in the financial and textile manufacturing sectors. But frequent hurdles by political parties have greatly hampered the city's economy. The hurdle rate declined since 2014. In some years, the city experienced a widespread flash flood during the monsoon. Dhaka is one of the fastest growing megacities in the world. It is predicted to be one of the world's largest metropolises by 2025, along with Tokyo, Mexico City, Shanghai, Beijing and New York City. Dhaka remains one of the poorest megacities. Most of its population are rural migrants, including climate refugees. Blue-collar workers are often housed in slums. Congestion is one of the most prominent features of modern Dhaka. In 2014, it was reported that only 7% of the city was covered by roads. The first phase of the Dhaka Metro Rail is planned for opening in 2021, coinciding with the Golden Jubilee of Bangladesh's independence. Geography Topography Dhaka is located in central Bangladesh at 23 degrees 42 and 90 degrees 22 e, on the eastern banks of the Buraganga River. The city lies on the lower reaches of the Ganges Delta and covers a total area of 306.38 square kilometers, 118.29 square miles. Tropical vegetation and moist soils characterize the land, which is flat and close to sea level. This leaves Dhaka susceptible to flooding during the monsoon seasons owing to heavy rainfall and cyclones. Dhaka district is bounded by the districts of Ghazipur, Tangail, Munshiganj, Rajbari, Narayanganj, Manikganj. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Climate. Under the Köppen climate classification, Dhaka has a tropical savanna climate. 
The city has a distinct monsoonal season, with an annual average temperature of 26 degrees Celsius 79 degrees Fahrenheit and monthly means varying between 19 degrees Celsius 66 degrees Fahrenheit in January and 29 degrees Celsius 84 degrees Fahrenheit in May. Approximately 87% of the annual average rainfall of 2,123 mm occurs between May and October. Increasing air and water pollution emanating from traffic congestion and industrial waste are serious problems affecting public health and the quality of life in the city. Water bodies and wetlands around Dhaka are facing destruction as these are being filled up to construct multi-storied buildings and other real estate developments. Coupled with pollution, such erosion of natural habitats threatens to destroy much of the regional biodiversity. Due to unregulated manufacturing of brick and other causes Dhaka is one of the most polluted world cities with very high levels of PM2.5 air pollution. <laughs> Parks and greenery There are many parks within Dhaka City, including Ramna Park, Surawardi Udayan, Shishu Park, National Botanical Garden, Balda Garden, Chandrima Udan, Gulshan Park and Dhaka Zoo. There are lakes within city, such as Crescent Lake, Donmundi Lake, Baridara Gulshan Lake, Banani Lake, Uttara Lake and Hatirjil Bagunbari Lake. Hatirjil Bagunbari, which was once a slum area, has turned into a new place of recreation for city dwellers. Hatirjil covering 320 acres 129 hectares is transformed into a place of festivity at night but with serenity settling down. However, the parks and the recreation places are often crowded and lacks security and cleanliness aspects, which is yet one of the big issues. <laughs> <laughs> Government Capital city As the capital of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Dhaka is the home to numerous state and diplomatic institutions. The Bangababan is the official residence and workplace of the President of Bangladesh, who is the ceremonial head of state under the constitution. The National Parliament House is located in the modernist capital complex designed by Louis Khan in Sher e Bangla Nagar. The Ganavaban, the official residence of the Prime Minister, is situated on the north side of Parliament. The Prime Minister's office is located in Tejgan. Most ministries of the Government of Bangladesh are housed in the Bangladesh Secretariat. The Supreme Court, the Dhaka High Court and the Foreign Ministry are located in the Ramna area. The Defence Ministry and the Ministry of Planning are located in Sher e Bangla Nagar. The Armed Forces Division of Bangladesh Government and Bangladesh Armed Forces Headquarters are located in Dhaka Cantonment. Several important installations of Bangladesh Army are also situated in Dhaka and Mirpur Cantonments. Bangladesh Navy's principal administrative and logistics base BNS Haji Motion is located in Dhaka. Bangladesh Air Force maintains the BAF Bangabandhu Air Base and BAF Kademal Bashar Air Base in Dhaka. Dhaka hosts 54 resident embassies and high commissions and numerous international organizations. Most diplomatic missions are located in Gulshan and Baridara area of the city. The Agargan area near Parliament is home to the country offices of the United Nations, the World Bank, the Asian Development Bank, and the Islamic Development Bank. Topic. Civic administration Topic. History Dhaka Municipality was founded on 1 August 1864 and upgraded to «metropolitan» status in 1978. In 1983, the Dhaka City Corporation DCC was created as a self-governing entity to govern Dhaka. Under a new act in 1993, election was held in 1994 for the first elected mayor of Dhaka. The DCC ran the affairs of the city until November 2011. Topic current municipal government In 2011, Dhaka City Corporation was split into two separate corporations, Dhaka North City Corporation and Dhaka South City Corporation for ensuring better civic facilities. These two corporations are headed by two two mayor, who are elected by direct vote of the citizen for a five-year period. 
area within city corporations divided into several wards, which each have an elected commissioner. In total the city has 130 wards and 725 mohalas. Rajik is responsible for coordinating urban development in Greater Dhaka area. DMP is responsible for maintaining law and order within the metro area. It was established in 1976. DMP has 56 police stations as administrative units. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Administrative agencies. Unlike other mega cities around the world, Dhaka is serviced by over two dozen government organizations under different ministries. Lack of coordination among them and centralization of all powers by the government of Bangladesh, keeps the development and maintenance of the city in a chaotic situation. Topic economy The Globalization and World Cities Research Network ranks Dhaka as a beta world city. The city is home to the country's monetary authority, the Bangladesh Bank, and the largest stock market, the Dhaka Stock Exchange. The central business district in Motajil and Dilkusha is the largest in Bangladesh. Other emerging CBDs include Karan Bazar, Palton, Moakali, Gulshan, Bashandhara, Uttara and Banani. The city has a growing middle class, driving the market for modern consumer and luxury goods. Restaurants, shopping malls and luxury hotels continue to serve as vital elements in the city's economy. The city has historically attracted numerous migrant workers. Hawkers, peddlers, small shops, rickshaw transport, roadside vendors and stalls employ a large segment of the population, rickshaw drivers alone number as many as 400,000. Half the workforce is employed in household and unorganized labor, while about 800,000 work in the textile industry. The unemployment rate in Dhaka was 23% in 2013. Dhaka has rising congestion and inadequate infrastructure. The national government has recently implemented a policy for rapid urbanization of surrounding areas and beyond by the introduction of a 10 year relief on income tax for new construction of facilities and buildings outside Dhaka. Education, healthcare, engineering, and consultancy services are major sectors of city's economy. Administrative and security services are also concentrated in the city. The technologically advanced Bangladeshi pharmaceutical industry is based in Dhaka. Textile manufacturing is the principal export generator, with billions of dollars in revenue made by factories within and around the city. Leather goods, vegetable oils, electronics and consumer goods are other manufacturing sectors found in Dhaka. The Bangladesh Export Processing Zone Authority's Dhaka EPZ in Savah is an important hub for foreign and local manufacturers. There are many industrial parks within suburbs of the city. The city is home to Bangladeshi banks, telecom companies, media companies and many of its largest conglomerates, including Square, Rahimafruz, Pran RFL Group, Beximco, Bashanhara Group, Transcom Group, Jamuna Group and Aki Group among others. The Dhaka-based Grameen Bank won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2006. The Metropolitan Chamber of Commerce and Industry is the oldest chamber of commerce in Dhaka, having been established in 1904 in the port of Narayanganj. The Dhaka Chamber of Commerce and Industry was established in 1958. The Federation of Bangladesh Chambers of Commerce and Industries is the apex chamber of commerce in both Dhaka and Bangladesh. The Bangladesh International Arbitration Centre handles commercial disputes. The port of Dhaka is one of the busiest river ports in the world. The port of Pangon has been developed to cater to ocean-going vessels from the Bay of Bengal. Dhaka hosts the headquarters of the Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation. Topic demographics The city, in combination with localities forming the wider metropolitan area, is home to over 15 million as of 2013. The population is growing by an estimated 4.2% per year, one of the highest rates amongst the Asian cities. The continuing growth reflects ongoing migration from rural areas to the Dhaka urban region, which accounted for 60% of the city's growth in the 1960s and 1970s. More recently, the city's population has also grown with the expansion of city boundaries, a process that added more than a million people to the city in the 1980s. According to the Far Eastern Economic Review, Dhaka will be home to 25 million people by the end of 2025. The literacy rate in Dhaka is also increasing quickly. It was estimated at 69.2% in 2001. 
The literacy rate had gone up to 74.6% by 2011 which is significantly higher than the national average of 51.77%. The city population is composed of people from virtually every region of Bangladesh. The long-standing inhabitants of the old city are known as Dakaite and have a distinctive dialect and culture. Dhaka is also home to large number of Bihari refugees, who are descendants of migrant Muslims from eastern India during 1947 and settled down in East Pakistan. The correct population of Biharis living in the city is ambiguous, but it is estimated that there are at least 300,000 Urdu speakers in all of Bangladesh, mostly residing in refugee camps in Dhaka, although official figures estimates only 40,000. Between 15,000 and 20,000 of the Rohingya, Santal, Khasi, Garo, Chakma and Mandi tribal peoples reside in the city. Dhaka also has a large population of European, Chinese, Korean, Indian, Pakistani, Nepali, Burmese and Sri Lankan expatriates working in executive jobs in different industries. Bengali, the national language, is spoken by the predominant majority population of Dhaka. English is the principal second language and widely spoken by educated peoples. People of old part of the city speaks Kudi language, which is a Bengali-based Creole language with large amount of Persian, Arabic and Hindi-Urdu vocabulary. There is a minority Urdu-speaking Bihari population, who are descendants of migrant Muslims from eastern India. Islam is the dominant religion of the city, with 90% of the population being Muslim, and a majority belonging to the Sunni sect. There is also a small Shia sect, and an Ahmadiyya community. Hinduism is the second largest religion and comprises 8.2% of the population. Smaller segments practice Christianity and Buddhism. The city also has Ismaili, Sikh, Rishi and Baha'i faith communities. Culture Topic. Arts and festivals As the most populous city of Bangladesh, Dhaka has a vibrant cultural life. Annual celebrations for Independence Day the 26th of March, Language Martyrs Day the 21st of February, and Victory Day the 16th of December are prominently celebrated across the city. Dhaka's people congregate at the Shahid Minar and the Jatiyo Smriti Sudo to remember the national heroes of the Liberation War. These occasions are observed with public ceremonies and rallies in public grounds. Many schools and colleges organize fairs, festivals and concerts in which citizens from all levels of society participate. Pahela Baishak, the Bengali New Year, falls annually on the 14th of April and is popularly celebrated across the city. Large crowds of people gather on the streets of Shabag, Ramna Park and the campus of the University of Dhaka for celebrations. Pahela Falgun Bengali, Pahela Falguna first day of spring of Bengali month Falgun, of the Bengali calendar, also celebrated in the city in a festive manner. This day is marked with colorful celebration and traditionally, women wear yellow saris to celebrate this day. This celebration is also known as Basanta Utsab Bengali, Basanta Utsaba spring festival. Nibbana is a celebration for harvest, usually celebrated with food and dance and music on the first day of the month of Agrahayan of Bengali year. Birthdays of Rabindranath Tagore and Qazi Nasrul Islam are observed respectively as Rabindra Janti and Nasrul Janti. Ekushi Book Fair, which is arranged each year by Bangla Academy and takes place for the whole month of February. This event is dedicated to the martyrs who died on 21 February 1952 in a demonstration calling for the establishment of Bengali as one of the state languages of former East Pakistan. Muslim festivals of Eid ul Fitr, Eid ul Adha, Eid e Miladinabi, and Muharram, Hindu festivals of Durga Puja, Buddhist festival of Buddha Purnima, and Christian festival of Christmas witness widespread celebrations across the city. The most popular dressing style for women are saris or salwar kameez, while men usually prefer western clothing to the traditional lungi with Punjabi. Jamdani sari of Dhaka as part of its cultural heritage, originate from the Mughal era. Jamdani saris are 100% hand weaved and a single sari may take as long as three months to complete. Despite the growing popularity of music groups and rock bands, traditional folk music remains widely popular. The works of the national poet Qazi Nasrul Islam and national anthem writer Rabindranath Tagore have a widespread following across Dhaka. 
The Bailey Road area is known as Natak Para theater neighborhood, which is the center of Dhaka's thriving theater movement. For much of recent history, Dhaka was characterized by roadside markets and small shops that sold a wide variety of goods. Recent years have seen the widespread construction of shopping malls. Two of the largest shopping malls in Dhaka and perhaps in the Indian subcontinent are Jamuna Future Park and Bashandhara City Shopping Mall. Topic cuisines Dhaka is reputed for its unique traditional festivities and food delicacies from way back. It hosts a wide-ranging menu of distinctive dishes many of which were introduced during the regime of Sultani and Mughal period. Due to different ruling periods, the cuisine of Dhaka is versatile and with a rich culinary tradition. Like other parts of the country, everyday meals generally include plain steamed rice as staple food with fish, meat, vegetable curries and lentil soup as common accompaniment. Plain rice is often replaced by roti or paratha. Curry is the most popular style of preparing dishes. But Old Dhaka area has its own unique food tradition, known as Dhakaite Dhakaya food. Old Dhaka is famous for its morag chicken pulao. It is different from traditional biryani by using both turmeric and malai or cream of milk together. Famous dishes of Old Dhaka are kebabs, naans, bakarkani, kachchi and paki biryani, mutton buni kichori, mutton tahari etc. Dakai Bikarkani is the traditional food or snack of the people of Old Dhaka. It is famous for its quality and taste and it was highly praised by the royal court of the Mughal Empire in Delhi. Along with Bangladeshi cuisine and South Asian variants, a large variety of Western and Chinese cuisine is served at numerous restaurants and eateries. Often many restaurants customize fusion dishes which blends foreign and local cuisines to meet local taste. Local and international fast food shops and chains serve burgers, fries and other readily available foods. Street foods like burhani, lassi and fuchka are highly popular among locals and tourists. Cheetah pitha, cheetah pitha and baffa pitha, bapa pitha a type of easy cake, made from rice flour also popular as street food. Fast food chains like A&W, Burger King, KFC, Nando's, Pizza Hut, Pizza Inn and Sabaro have opened up their outlets in major areas of the city. Dhaka's delicacies such as biryani from Hajis, Nandas and Fakhruddin, Dhaka cheese, star kebab still remain popular for dine. The city has numerous venerable Bengali confectionery chains, including Banifal, Aladdin, Bikrampur Mishti Bandar and Rashmela. Topic. Architecture Dhaka is home to over 2,000 buildings built between the 16th and 19th centuries, which form an integral part of Dhaka's cultural heritage. Such as Binat Bibi Mosque, Lalba Fort, Asan Manzil, Tara Mosque, Sihak Mosque, Husseini Dalin, Armenian Church, Curzon Hall, Dhaka Gate, Donmundi Shahi Idga, Rose Garden Palace, Choto Katra, Bara Katra, Dhakashwari Temple, Swami Bagh Temple, Ramna Kali Mandir, Holy Rosary Church, Pogos School. There are still many colonial buildings at Dhaka Sadarghat, Armanatola, Farashganj areas of old Dhaka. Binat Bibi Mosque was built in 1454 at Narinda area of Dhaka during the reign of the Sultan of Bengal, Nasiruddin Mahmud Shah R. which is the oldest brick structure that still exists in the city. Important landmark buildings constructed during British rule include Old High Court Building, Bangababan, Curzon Hall and Mitford Hospital. Architect Louis I Khan's acclaimed modernist national capital complex, based on the geography and heritage of Bengal, was inaugurated in Dhaka in 1982 as one of the largest legislative complexes in the world, comprising 200 acres 800,000 square meters. Designed by American architect Robert Bowie, Kamalapur Railway Station is another architectural marvel, which was constructed in the early 1960s and started its operation from 1969. Independence Monument Bengali, Sabatanata Stamba is a new landmark, which was built to commemorate the historical events that took place in the Surawardi Udian during the Liberation War of Bangladesh. There are many museums in the city. Such as Asan Manzil, Bangladesh National Museum, Museum of Independence, Liberation War Museum, National Museum of Science and Technology Bangladesh, Bangabandhu Memorial Museum etc. Media Dhaka is also the press, media and entertainment centre of Bangladesh. 
Bangladesh Batar is the state-run primary provider of radio services, and broadcasts a variety of programming in Bengali and English. Radio transmission started in Dhaka on 16 December 1939. In recent years many private radio networks, especially FM radio services, have been established in the city such as Radio 40 FM 88.0, Radio Amar FM 88.4, ABC Radio FM 89.2, Radio Today FM 89.6, Dhaka FM 90.4, People's Radio 91.6 FM, Radio Bumi FM 92.8, City FM 96.0 etc. Bangladesh Television is the state-run broadcasting network that provides a wide variety of programs in Bengali and English. It started broadcasting on 25 December 1964. It also operates a sister channel BTV World since 2004. Sangsad Bangladesh is another government-owned TV channel that broadcasts parliamentary activity of Bangladesh since 25 January 2011. Cable and satellite networks such as ATN Bangla, ATN News, Banglavision, Channel I, Channel 9, Ekushi Television, Gon Bangla, Ghazi Television, Independent TV, NTV, RTV and Samoy TV are amongst the most popular channels. The main offices of most publishing houses in Bangladesh are based in Dhaka. Dhaka is home to the largest Bangladeshi newspapers, including the leading Bengali dailies Protam Allo, Itafak, Inchilab, Janakantha, Amar Desh and Jagantar. The leading English-language newspapers include the Daily Star, Dhaka Tribune, The Financial Express, The Independent and New Age. Education <inaudible> 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 Dhaka has the largest number of schools, colleges and universities of any Bangladeshi city. The education system is divided into five levels, primary from grades 1 to 6, junior from grades 6 to 8, secondary from grades 9 to 10, higher secondary from grades 11 to 12, and tertiary. The five years of primary education concludes with a primary school completion PSC examination. The three years of junior education concludes with junior school certificate JSC examination, and next two years of secondary education concludes with a secondary school certificate SSC examination. Students who pass this examination proceed to two years of higher secondary or intermediate training, which culminate in a higher secondary school certificate HSC examination. Education is mainly offered in Bengali, but English is also widely taught and used. Many Muslim families send their children to attend part-time courses or even to pursue full-time religious education alongside other subjects, which is imparted in Bengali and Arabic in schools, colleges and madrasas. There are 52 universities in Dhaka. Dhaka College is the oldest institution for higher education in the city and among the earliest established in British India, founded in 1841. Since independence, Dhaka has seen the establishment of numerous public and private colleges and universities that offer undergraduate and graduate degrees as well as a variety of doctoral programs. University of Dhaka is the oldest public university in the country which has more than 30,000 students and 1,800 faculty staff. It was established in 1921 being the first university in the region. The university has 23 research centers and 70 departments, faculties and institutes. Eminent seats of higher education include Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology BUET, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University BSMMU, Jagannath University and Sher e Bangla Agricultural University. Dhaka Medical College and Sir Salimullah Medical College are two of the best medical colleges in the nation. Founded in 1875, the Dhaka Medical School was the first medical school in Bangladesh then British East Bengal, which became Sir Salimula Medical College in 1962. Other government medical colleges are Shahid Surawardi Medical College and Armed Forces Medical College, Dhaka. Alongside public institutes of higher education there are some 45 private universities in Dhaka. Bangladesh C, list of universities in Bangladesh, most of which are located in Moakali, Gulshan, Banani, Baridara, Bashanhara, Uttara and Donmundi areas of the city. The British Council plays an important role helping students to achieve GCSE and A-level qualifications from examination boards in the United Kingdom. 
This is in addition to holding several examinations for professional bodies in the United Kingdom, including the UK Medical Royal Colleges and Accountancy. Sports Cricket and football are the two most popular sports in Dhaka and across the nation. Teams are fielded in intra-city and national competitions by many schools, colleges and private entities. The Mohammedan Sporting Club and Abahani are two of the most famous football and cricket teams, maintaining a fierce rivalry, especially in the Bangladesh Football Premier League. Dhaka Metropolis Cricket Team represents Dhaka City in the National Cricket League, a region-based domestic first-class cricket competition in Bangladesh. Dhaka Premier League is the only domestic List A cricket tournament now in Bangladesh. It gained List A status in 2013-14 season. In domestic 2020 cricket, Dhaka has a BPL franchise known as Dhaka Dynamites. Dhaka has the distinction of having hosted the first official test cricket match of the Pakistan cricket team in 1954 against India. The Bangabandhu National Stadium was formerly the main venue for domestic and international cricket matches, but now exclusively hosts football matches. It was used during Pakistan colonial era for test matches when no Bengalis were selected in team and a matting pitch was used. It hosted the opening ceremony of the 2011 Cricket World Cup while the Sher e Bangla National Cricket Stadium, exclusively used for cricket, hosted six matches of the tournament, including two quarterfinal matches. Dhaka has also hosted the South Asian Games three times, in 1985, 1993, and 2010. Dhaka is the first city to host the Games three times. The Bangabandhu National Stadium was the main venue for all three editions. Dhaka also hosted the ICC World 2020, along with Chittagong and Silhet, in 2014. The National Sports Council, responsible for promoting sports activities across the nation, is based in Dhaka. Dhaka also has stadiums largely used for domestic events such as the Bangladesh Army Stadium, the Bir Shuristha Shahid Shipahi Mustafa Kamal Stadium, the Donmundi Cricket Stadium and the Outer Stadium Ground. The Dhaka University Ground and the BUET Sports Ground host many intercollegiate tournaments. They are also used as practice ground by different football clubs and visiting foreign national football teams. There are two golf courses in Dhaka. One is situated at Army Golf Club and another is situated at Kermatola Golf Club. Transport. Road Dhaka is connected to the other parts of the country through highway and railway links. Five of the eight major national highways of Bangladesh start from the city. They are N1, N2, N3, N5 and N8. Dhaka is also directly connected to two longest routes of Asian highway network AH1 and AH2, as well as to AH41 route. Highway links to the Indian cities of Kolkata, Agartala, Guwahati and Shillong have been established by the Bangladesh Road Transport Corporation and private bus companies which also run regular international bus services to those cities from Dhaka. An elevated expressway system is under construction. The Dhaka Elevated Expressway would run from Shahjalal International Airport Kuril Banani Moakali Tejgan Satrasta Mobazar Rail Crossing Kilgaon Kamalapur Galapba to Dhaka Chittagong Highway at Kutubakali Point. A longer second elevated expressway from Airport Ashulia is currently undergoing feasibility study. There are three inter-district bus terminals in Dhaka, which are located at Moakali, Saidabad and Gabtoli area of the city. Dhaka suffers some of the worst traffic congestion in the world. The city lacks an organized public transport system. Construction of MRT and a BRT is currently going on to solve the problem. Cycle rickshaws and auto rickshaws are the main mode of transport within metro area, with close to 400,000 rickshaws running each day, the highest number in any city in the world. However, only about 85,000 rickshaws are licensed by the city government. Relatively low-cost and non-polluting cycle rickshaws, nevertheless, cause traffic congestion and have been banned from many parts of the city. The government has overseen the replacement of two-stroke engine auto rickshaws with green auto rickshaws, 
locally called CNG auto rickshaw or baby taxi, which run on compressed natural gas. Public buses are operated by the state-run Bangladesh Road Transport Corporation (BRTC) and by numerous private companies and operators. Ride-sharing services like Uber and Pathau, scooters, taxis and privately owned cars are rapidly becoming popular with the city's growing middle class. Limited numbers of taxis are available. It is planned to raise the total number of taxis to 18,000 gradually. Uber has started mobile app-based taxi service in the city, whereas few local companies operate motor bike service. The Cabinet of Bangladesh has approved the draft of a guideline legalizing smartphone application-based ride-hailing services such as Uber and Pathau. Air Shah Jalal International Airport IATA, DAC, ICAO, VGHS, located 15 kilometers 9.3 miles north of Dhaka city center is the largest and busiest international airport in the country. The airport has an area of 1,981 acres 802 hectares. The airport has a capacity of handling 15 million passengers annually, and is predicted by the Civil Aviation Authority, Bangladesh to be enough until 2026. In 2014, it handled 6.1 million passengers, and 248,000 tons of cargo. Average aircraft movement per day is around 190 flights. It is the hub of all Bangladeshi airlines. Domestic service flies to Chittagong, Silhet, Rajshahi, Cox's Bazar, Jessore, Barizal, Sedpur and international services fly to major cities in Asia, Europe and the Middle East. Topic. Rail Kamalapur Railway Station is the largest and busiest among the railway stations in the city. Designed by American architect Robert Bowie, the railway station situated in the northeast side of Motajil, was established in the early 1960s and started its operation from 1969. The station is the largest in the country and also one of the most modern and striking buildings in Dhaka. The state-owned Bangladesh Railway provides suburban and national services, and the Maitri Express International Service to Kolkata. Regular express train services connect Dhaka with major cities of Chittagong, Rajshahi, Kulna, Silhet and Rangpur. In 2013, suburban services to Narayanganj and Ghazipur cities were upgraded using diesel-electric multiple unit trains. The Dhaka Metro Rail Feasibility Study has been completed. A 20.1 km 12.5 miles, $1.7 billion Phase 1, Metro route is being negotiated by the government with Japan International Cooperation Agency. The first route will start from Uttara, northern suburb of Dhaka to Sayedabad, southern section of Dhaka. The route consists of 16 elevated stations each of 180 meters long. Construction began on 26 June 2016. Waterways The Siddharghat River port on the banks of the Buraganga River serves for the transport of goods and passengers upriver and to other ports in Bangladesh. Intercity and inter-district motor vessels and passenger ferry services are used by many people to travel riverine regions of the country from the city. Water bus services are available on Buraganga River and Hatirjil and Gulshan Lakes. Water buses of Buraganga River ferry passengers on Siddharghat to Gabtalai route. Water taxis in Hatirjil and Gulshan lakes provide connectivity via two routes, one route between Tejgan and Gulshan, another route between Tejgan and Rampura areas. <laughs> Twin towns and sister cities Guangzhou New York Topic. See also Jahangir Nagar Old Dhaka Greater Dhaka List of cities and towns in Bangladesh List of tallest buildings in Dhaka World's largest cities <laughs>